Hey everyone, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Opinionated Sense, our safe space to discuss all things fragrance, whether we like them or not. Today's video is going to be very interesting because this is the first time I've worked in collaboration with a pheromone based fragrance company. Cupid Fragrances reached out, said, hey, would you like to try some of our fragrances? And they sent me over two. Now this one here is called Hypnosis. And it says it's a pheromone spray from Cupid Fragrances. Um, the bottle is, you know, quite cute, just sleek, minimalistic. You know, I love a good square or rectangle body. I like the glass. It's nice, thick. Um, plastic cap for those of you who are all into packaging, but it's cute. It's a whole vibe. This is supposed to attract women. And then they also sent me a rollerball of Hypnosis X, which is supposed to have 10 times the more um, potency or 10 times more potency than this one. I don't know why you would need 10 times more potency. I don't know how many people you're trying to pull in one day, but be careful. So they have a lot of information on their website about this company, about what pheromones are, if you don't know what they are, how they can affect a person's behavior. Um, like it can be mood boosting, give you confidence and also attract people to you. So they have their own formula and it is called Ferro Pure VXN. And this is their secret pheromone blend. It ensures the scent of cupids stand out in the market. Now, I think I had heard of another pheromone house before, but they definitely didn't give me all of this information. They have three um, main pheromones, none of which can I pronounce, but one of them boosts masculinity, masculinity, self-confidence, and dominance. Another one amplifies allure, your seduction, and edge. And then the other one fosters social bonds, eases communication, and promotes good relations. So all the way around, if you're trying to attract um, people just to be friends or coworkers or to stand out in the crowd or a significant other, if you're whatever you're looking for, this seems to have a blend of things that are going to get you there. Um, it says science backed attraction emphasize that Cupid's fragrances are crafted based on scientific principles to enhance men's appeal to women, instilling confidence in its effectiveness. Now, I'm a woman. So um, this seemed like fun to me. You just just I, I want to just, put, you know, smell this and be like, mm. Now I put it on my skin and I smelled it on a stick. I will tell you right off the bat. I don't know how to describe this. It smells. It, it doesn't smell like a perfume to me. It smells like something you would spray on your couch or something you would spray in your home. Um, a little bit of a black licorice note like I, I shouldn't say a little bit I smell black licorice black jelly bean type of ness and it smells created to me it smells like I don't, I don't want to use the word chemical but it definitely smells formulated you know what I'm saying it's not like a gourmand or you smell salt or you smell um cookies or you smell vanilla to me it's not like that it's not like those realistic cherry or strawberry notes you can get in a fragrance this is something I've never smelled before in my life and when I sprayed it on me which maybe I'm not supposed to do because I'm a woman and it's supposed to attract women or um I, I, I just don't know I, I don't know if I need to smell this on a, a man's body chemistry and I haven't been around anyone to try yet. So I was just trying it on me. I figure I'm a woman. If it's supposed to attract women, it should attract me whether it's on me or not. Huh? I don't know. But I'll say this. When I sprayed this on, it didn't work with me and my skin. I'm a girl. So that makes sense to me. So again, I will have to have a male test this, but let me explain something to you guys. So I also use the rollerball. Now this one, I like so much more. It doesn't smell this. This one here to me would smell like it's more potent because the smell of it itself is so intense. Now with. Yeah, this smells like. 
To me, this smells like a man. Mm. Mm. So maybe I just needed more pheromones. I need the 10 times the potency. So let me go ahead and read a few more things for you on here. So pheromones concept emphasize the concept of pheromones in the fragrance, explaining how they can enhance a person's attractiveness and appeal and that our pheromone cologne is scientifically formulated to attract women. They keep talking about science, y'all. And I know with the hypnosis X baby, because I'm attracted I'm kind of, from the rollerball, I'm attracted. So, so simply put, pheromones influence the behavior or development of the receiving individual. How freaking cool is that? I mean, it's dangerous and scary, maybe, <laughs> if you think about like mind control, but they can make you feel more confident, appear more attractive, and improve social interactions. We utilize pheromones in our fragrances to give you that extra edge, amplifying your natural pheromone output and helping you confidently showcase your true self to the world. I love the concept of this. Fellas, if you are a little shy, um, if you just want a little something else, try this out. I think this concept is so cool. I feel like it's almost like a love potion. Okay. Um, smell of the fragrance. So Hypnosis 2.0 or the Parfum 50 milliliters offers a captivating fragrance characterized by sea swept breezes of vanilla and caramel anchored in aquatic freshness. The unique blend creates an aromatic profile that is both enticing and soothing, suitable for a variety of occasions. Now the Hypnosis X Rollerball is oriental woody, spicy leather, and amber. I don't know that we're supposed to be saying that old word though. Like, it's crazy. So again, if we're talking about me being a woman and me being attracted, then this one makes sense to me. I got to smell it again, y'all, because I just... <laughs> yeah, that's sexy. And I want to rollerball this all over my man. So we will be playing along with this, um, I will be going to a wedding. My little brother is getting married. I'm so proud of him. Congratulations again, little brother. And so I will have several men trying this out. I think I'm going to be spreading this all over the place on people who aren't wearing anything just to see, you know, at weddings, hey, single people hook up, single people unite. Maybe I can help some fellas. Pull. <laughs> Maybe I can help some fellas get a girl. That's terrible. Come on now. <laughs> so. Hypnosis 2.0, right? I sprayed this on my skin. It doesn't work for me, but I am a woman and this is supposed to attract me. So again, I feel like I should be trying it on a male. Um, that wasn't what was discussed, you know, when we talked about collaborating together and I hope they don't think I'm a boy. I would think they watch my channel to find me, but we'll see. So anyway, let me get to the story because it was really fun to me. So we all know that Hypnosis X attracted me right off the off the bat. And I want to smell this on a man. So I'm going to make that happen. And I'll come back and do a follow-up review for you guys, especially about the wedding. I'm not even joking. If I find a man at that wedding that is not wearing fragrance at all, watch what I do. So... I sprayed this on my skin and it smells exactly the same, true to form. That black licorice type of thing. I don't get vanilla or caramel in here, but again, I, I just feel like I'm missing the masculine body chemistry. You know, without the masculine body chemistry, maybe this isn't a, as electrifying or maybe it isn't able to do its magic, right? However, I kept it on as long as I could trying to see if it would change. It pretty much stayed the same on me. Then I put the roller ball on my other wrist, and, but I love the way that this smells. So I was perfectly fine with that. But I did keep thinking, I'm a girl. I don't want to smell like this. I want to smell this on my man. I need to make sure that I test this on him. So after about 30 minutes, nothing changed with this one. Nothing changed with this one either. They both smelled exactly the same. So they seem pretty linear, right? I go and I wash them off in um, the bathroom. I'm just washing them off my wrist. I don't really wear, you know, scents and fragrance on my skin anyway. I just wanted to test them and I did. 
I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to think. I was feeling like the experiment was failing for me. But when I came back into this room, the freshness, the, the, the mood boosting, uplifting, just wonderment I was going through. I was like, what is that? How is that what this smells like in the air when it smelled like what it smelled like on my skin? I think I meant to experience this on a man or the trail, the scent trail that a man leaves when he's walking past me. I don't think I was ever supposed to spray it on me. I was thrown. I was shocked. I love the way that this smells in the air. My whole room was brighter and just uh, attention grabbing. And I just, I was, you know, dumbfounded. Like, I definitely got to get this, you know. So I have several male friends I'm going to make try this. I am having the time of my life. Can you believe how lucky I am that I'm about to go to a wedding to <laughs> put this fragrance to work? And because my guy's already out of town. Wait, wait, wait till I get this on him. I already know what's up. And you know, when you're already highly attracted to your person, anything that like dares to test um, or dares to challenge that it can just up it a little bit. I think that might be dangerous. If I'm any more attracted to him, I don't know what we're going to do. So we shall see. But mm -hmm. I'm going to turn this wedding up and I'm going to come back and tell y'all all about it. So um, that's all I have for you today regarding these two fragrances. I am going to have fun with them at this wedding. I'm going to test, test them out. Um, I plan to ask women what they think about how it smells on their man or any man that I can find without a fragrance. Have some fun. Explain to them what it's all about. And again, I'm going to come back and tell you guys all about it. I like the concept, especially the way that they put this on their website. I like the concept of helping boost a person's confidence, um, especially because they don't actually just keep it focused on finding a lover or a significant other or something like that. You could just be the type of person who has to do this big like presentation at work and maybe public speaking isn't your thing. And this is something that can give you a little extra pep in your step, give you a little bit of swag. I'm here for it. I really do like the idea of this and the rollerball Hypnosis X definitely has me. It has me from, this is not an atomizer, this is just a rollerball. It has me from right here, y'all. It smells a little minty or menthol-y. This thing is giving me all of the things I love in most fragrances I love on men. Slightly spicy, definitely fresh and clean, but also woody. This is so sexy to me. So I guess I'm I guess I learned something new about myself that I'm the girl that needs the 10 times more potent, heavily concentrated version. And I love the way they chose all my favorite things like this. I didn't I didn't discuss anything. This isn't catered to me. Um, so I wonder how well this works on all women. I know there are some women who like their men to smell sweet. So I wonder. I don't know. I'm. I don't know, but this is so fun. Thank you so much to Cupid Fragrances for sending these fragrances over. If you guys have tried Cupid or if you've tried any other brands, any other houses that tout pheromones, let me know realistically and honestly what happened. What was your experience? Did you have a fragrance that was supposed to attract men to you or fragrances that are supposed to be attractive to you on a man and did you test them out on a man this is interesting and a very curious like a very peculiar thing to focus on um because as it's been most fragrances i've smelled or i think probably all of them have just smelled good i don't think anything was catered specifically to turn me on so just think about how amazingly dangerous it can be when you add something that smells good already and was already going to attract you and you amp it up with some stuff that's going to just come here who was that that um scorpion scorpio 
It wasn't Sub-Zero. You guys, if you know Mortal Kombat, you know what I'm talking about. But I can't wait to come back after this wedding and tell you guys all about this. If you've tried anything, come see me in the comments. Let me know what your experience was so we can talk all about it and be looking for the part two of this video because, yeah, this is going to be too much fun. What better place than a wedding to test this out on people? I can't think of one. As always, I love talking to you guys in the comments. I hope to see you there. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, select the notification bell so that you never miss any of my future uploads. And of course, share me across all your social media platforms. Talk about me, talk about me, talk about me. I'm still trying to get to 10K and we're so very close. Also, you know, I have an amazing gift of a full body of Monte Cassonade from Novitas Parfums and their collaboration with Sharita M. Going to be giving it away. And if the winner happens to not be in the continental United States, then I will be giving away a hundred dollar gift card to Ulta or Sephora, whichever one you guys have closest to you. Hopefully you have one of those or we'll work something else out. So as always, I love seeing you guys in the comments. And until then, bye.